All right, hey everyone. So let's go into this video here. Now in this video, I want to cover how to file an LLC in Florida. Now I get a lot of people who come to me because they, they say, hey, I said you talk a lot about starting home-based businesses and structuring your life like a business. And you want to know, do I need to file an LLC? So you don't necessarily need to file an LLC. You can operate as a sole proprietor. Now, before I hop into that completely, let's make sure I give you the caveat here or the disclaimer. Again, I am not a tax professional, CPA, or an attorney. Everything I'm giving you in this information is based on my experience only. So I'm just consulting you on that. Now, if you want to verify it, definitely see someone professional for that purpose. All right, so let's jump back in. Again, you don't necessarily have to file for LLC. You can be a sole proprietor. Uh, but what LLC does is going to give you some escort protection in a sense. So whenever you filed for the LLC, when you go to file taxes the following year, if for some reason you made more than $55,000 and you realize, man, the self-employment tax is going to be really high, you can then be treated as an escort. So you can actually have the LLC be filed, file as taxes and be treated as an escort, which will help you not have to pay the self-employment tax of around 15 and some change percent. Now, if you're going to make less than that or you feel like, oh, I'm not really going to do anything with it, you can avoid all of this. Now, this video is for people who want to file an LLC. We'll go into more details on whether or not you should file one or not in a different video. So to get to this screen here, you want to make sure that you go to sunbiz.org. Now, that's going to bring you to sunbiz.org or the divisions of corporations which is an official state of florida website the florida department of state so you're gonna see a few things up here well obviously you know we want to start a business so you're gonna float over here where it says start a business not click it but you could click it but you're gonna go down here where it says limited liability which is under start e-filing all right so now we're here now, for some of you, you may have already done a search and you may realize, okay, my name is like available. I can choose this name. If you don't know if your name is available, they see it over here. It got search LLC records. So you can open up a new tab here and you can search to see, oh, is my LLC name that I want to use available? So let's go with me consulting LLC. So you'll search here and you're going to see that, yeah, there are some other me consultings. And so you would then just, I guess, in a sense, kind of just change your name up a little bit uh, to be one that is unique and available. So let's say you do have that name already. You're going to come back to the screen where it says Florida Limited Liability Company, Articles of Organization. And you're going to create a Florida Liability Limited, a Florida Limited Liability Company by clicking on this button here. So again, you got two options here. This is right here. This is a disclaimer. It's a form that creates or corrects an online filing, a filing. So here you're going to obviously go with the file articles of organization, start a new filing. And you're going to see here, it's going to bring you to this form here where you can put in the information. Now, effective date, like really anything on here, it has a what is, what is. But let's say you want to know what could I put for my effective date. So effective date is going to be whenever you want the actual date of the business to go into effect. So let's say you're at the beginning of the year and here we are, it's uh, January, you know, whatever it is. And you want to be able to put in some information here about, uh, you want to put in a date going back to the beginning of the year. So you can go ahead and put 0101-2023. So you don't necessarily have to put the date that you're filing it. So here you see required filing fees is 125. You can add a certificate of status. You can also get a certified copy. It gives you the information on what those are. Now here you're gonna see limited liability company name. Now you're gonna put in your limited liability company name. And here the principal place of business, the principal address must be a street address. So you can't use a PO box for this, okay? Uh, some people you know they you just they don't necessarily put their home here. There are some ways you can go around that. You can get like a virtual, you know, mailbox, like a, some type of virtual address um, in a place but uh, here generally is going to be wherever you do business at. So let's call this 123 Main Street. And that's going to be in Superverse, uh, Florida. <laughs> 11111 United States. And then you have the mailing address, which is, if it's the same, you can just click this box and it'll bring it all down here. Now, the name and address of a registered agent. So what is a registered agent? 
So this is going to be the person that will accept service of of the process on behalf of a business entity. So basically, whoever's going to be responsible for it, um, in a sense, or responsible for the business. So it, usually, this is going to be the person who's the president or the owner or the CEO or whatever. It has to be a person though. So here you put in those names. I'll just say I am mm, me, me, M. <laughs> and or again, okay, actually, you can't have a um, business entity. It has to be a different business entity. And then you put in the address of that a registered agent. So this may be the same address as the principal place of um, of the business, and maybe the same address as the mailing address. So one, two, three, Main Street, Superverse, Florida. One 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 one. All right. So that'll bring you down here. You'll put in your signature. You'll type it in. So for me, it's me, me. Yeah, me, me. <laughs> Whatever. So here you got some any other provisions. You can put your. It's optional. You don't have to fill this out. I, I've done it in the in the past for some some of the LLCs I filed. But this is where you can put the purpose or statement of the company. So let's say you say me consulting LLC is a consulting firm on all things boom so whatever you want to put there now here annual report so again you have to refile or renew your llc every year so whenever you file it the next year january 1st to may 1st will become the new year which you need to then do an annual report the annual report is really easy i'll do another video on that uh, at another time but you want to make sure you get that done within the time frame because you can see the fee to file an LLC and your report is $138.75 and a late fee is $400 if you do it after May 1st. So yeah, you, you want to you wanna get that done beforehand and you want to keep it in active status. Now here, email address. This is the correspondence name and email address. This is basically how they're going to reach out to you and remind you that it's time to do an annual report. So you're going to put you know your name. I'm going to put me, me, and that's going to be me, me at gmail.com and then I'll re-enter it. Oh, go look together is like meme, whatever. Gmail.com. And then I put in that electronic signature of the authorized representative, which is usually going to be you. Me, me. So, name and address of persons authorized to manage the LLC. So, these are going to be, be, the, be the members of the LLC. So, you can come up with the titles here. They got some here. You can also choose, click on this, and you can see the different types of titles what a manager is, what a authorized member is, authorized person. So for title here, I'm just gonna go with whatever they have here. We'll put manager, and I'm gonna put me, me, M. And then again, the address, one, two, three, Main Street, Superverse, Florida, one, 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 US. Now, generally, you wanna make sure that you do more than one member for this. You want to make sure you put more than one member because, again, you know, just like add your, your spouse, add your mom, add someone because if you put multi member, if you do a multi member LLC, it actually gives you some true liability protection. Again, you know, consult someone about it, but, you know, I, I just want to try and tell you that I wouldn't recommend filing an LLC of just yourself because you're going to be treated just like a sole proprietor still. So it doesn't really matter. So you scroll down here after you add however many members you want to add to this. And then you're going to click continue to actually review the accuracy of it. So again, uh, my situation, I have an invalid effective date. So it has to be more than five just days before filing date. So let's just go back up here and we're going to change that to today's date. And then we'll go back down and we're going to click continue. Now, as you can see here, it's going to bring you the review information. So you can actually review the filing for accuracy. You want to make sure that everything is correct here because you don't want to have to go through filing a correction or because something was rejected. So once you kind of go through here, you make sure everything looks good. You'll click continue. It's going to open up this little page here where it's going to tell you what the charge for your filing is. You're going to click continue and it's going to be a payment. So you're going to put in your payment information. So you can click credit card payment, put in your credit card payment. You'll open that up here, put in the information, and you will be able to pay that. Now, I'm not going to put any information here because I'm not going to buy this right now. But hopefully, this was very helpful for any of you 
who are, you know, and you know, it's funny because the screen, I guess it disappeared because it was showing some uh, sensitive information, but hopefully this is really helpful for someone. It's super simple to create your own LLC and file it. You don't have to pay someone $500 to $1,000 to do it yourself. I mean, to do it for you, you can just do it yourself. So yeah, it's super easy. Watch this video, share it with other people who are looking to do it. Feel free to slow things down, whatever you need to do, but file the LLC yourself, save yourself a few hundred dollars and boom.